Are you in a working relationship or are you in business with someone who is your significant other? Now, what I mean by that is, are you in a business relationship with your husband or your wife? or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, your de facto partner, your significant other, the person that you love and hold dearly in your life. By now you've probably experienced some great joy in that relationship and you've probably recognized that there are some traps in that as well. Now in the work that I do, I help business leaders to be efficient, to be more productive, to manage their time and to be less stressed. Now, in business, we're constantly looking to be more productive, to be more efficient. However, when you're working with the significant other in that working relationship, it can also put some stress on you and on that relationship. So we want to look at ways that we can protect the relationship, but also enable the relationship for efficiency within the business. Now, a disclaimer, I am not a relationships coach. That's not what I'm here to do, but I am here to give you some pointers so that you can prevent the, the stress that can occur when couples are working together professionally. So here's some things that you can do that I've learned over the years that can really, really help and protect relations, working relationships. So number one, set some boundaries. Now, some good ones to start with is not talking about work or the business in the bedroom. That should be sacred space. That's for you and your significant other and it is a place of rest and love and recovery. So you don't want to bring work into that space. You're going to have to be firm with each other but make some rules about that. I would also encourage you to think about the boundaries in terms of when you do talk about work. So what's the shut off time? When do you stop to talking about work once you're at home? You want to be able to keep some of that working life at work. I mean, ideally, that's where it stays, but inevitably it is going to creep home. So set some strict boundaries about when shut off time is for those kind of conversations. Number two, what I would encourage you to do is to practice some mindfulness and some awareness in your business if you haven't done this already. No doubt when you set out to start the business together, there's some things that were fundamentally important to you, for both of you, some things that you really wanted to sustain through the life of that business. Now, inevitably, the business is going to evolve and change. So you want to be able to look back and go, I always said that this was important and this is what I wanted to hang on to and protect. So I want you to sit down individually, quietly, and write down what are those things that are really important to you? Why, why are you doing this work in this business? Why are you doing this work? And what do you want to maintain? What do you want to look after and protect? What are those things? Write those things down. And number two, I would encourage you to write down what you want for your significant other and how you want to support them. So for example, do you want them to work less hours? Do you want to ensure that you get to spend quality time together? Do you want to make sure that you can both spend holiday time together? Do you want to uh, protect your weekends? What is it for you that's, that's important in the context of the other person? And write those things down. Do it quietly, do it individually, and then share it with each other. Now, I know you can just have these conversations, but you know what it's like with that significant other. You're at a barbecue, you're retelling a conversation or a story, and they say, that's not what happened. That's not what I said. So it's really worth just documenting these things and writing it down, and it'll really sink in when you share it with the other person. It's almost like wedding vows. Not quite. Okay, third thing you need to do is to think about your role within the business because what's complex is you wear two hats. You have your job description and the work that you do within the business, but you're also a partner. Why this is important is when your business grows, you will need to start delegating tasks to other people. Or maybe one day you actually want to replace yourself 
But what is being replaced? What's the actual job? And it's really important from the context of those boundaries as well to go, this is what I do when I'm the manager and this is what I do when I'm the partner. And if you're going to be replaced, you can't expect your replacement to go and rub your husband's feet in the lunch break because that's what you do as a loving partner. That's not really a realistic thing for them to do. So what sits within the bounds of your job and what sits within the bounds of the relationship and where do those things cross over? Because that's something to be really mindful of. If it helps you, what you can do is a Venn diagram. So a Venn diagram looks like this. You're going to draw two circles that intersect. So you've got one circle that is, you can say, this is me as the wife here. And then you've got another circle over here that intersects and this is me as the manager. And so what you will do is write down all the things that are exclusive to that role as a manager. That's kind of your job description. And then what are the things that are exclusive that you do as a partner within the work environment? Like going and grabbing your partner some lunch at lunchtime, like um, picking up their dry cleaning, maybe. Or maybe that's something that sits in here because sometimes executive assistants do that. Uh, maybe you will book their lunch online. Maybe you'll book their accommodation for a conference but it's over here you do that purely as a wife for your holiday what things kind of sit within here and you know you do them because you're a partner but they're also fitting within the job what are some no-go things over here that you wouldn't expect any employee to do that you purely do because you're the partner and what things over here are the job i have to do this because it's my job now this stuff's really important for you to both do as a spouse because you want to protect that employee. That employee needs to be empowered to do their job. You don't want the relationship to imp impact upon the position. So this is where the boundary stuff is really, really important. So it's useful to map that out and actually think about where do those boundaries exist? Because you probably never talked about it, really. You've not never really fleshed it out. And those kind of things are going to help protect the relationship in the context of the work environment and reduce any stresses or tensions that can occur because of that complexity of the relationship that exists within the workplace. Now, if you are a couple that are working together in the workplace, have you got more tips? I would love to hear them. Please comment and share your tips below or if you've got any feedback, love to hear it. I'm looking forward to seeing what you share.